JD.com, also known as Jingdong and formerly called 360 Buy, is a Chinese e-commerce company headquartered in Beijing. In the full name of Jingdong, Dong is part of the name of the founder and CEO Liu Qiangdong, and Jing is the name of his ex-wife. It is one of the two massive B2C online retailers in China by transaction volume and revenue. The company was founded by Liu Qiangdong on June 18, 1998, and its retail platform went online in 2004. It started as an online magneto optical store, but soon diversified, selling electronics, mobile phones, computers, and similar items. The company changed its domain name to 360buy.com in June 2007 and then to JD.com in 2013. JD is partly owned by Tencent, which has a 20% stake in the company. That's why you see JD has an entry point in Tencent's super app WeChat. JD decided early to build out its own logistics network across the country and the law employee all of its own delivery personnel in-house. JD also initially focused on high-quality merchandise from large and medium-sized businesses and has pushed into more general merchandise in recent years, including fresh groceries. The asset-heavy business model is much more expensive and capital-intensive than those employed by Alibaba and Pinduoduo. Even when spurring Alibaba founder Jack Ma to say that JD's business would end in tragedy. However, JD's business model is looking awfully good in uncertainties. By owning all of its logistics personnel and warehouse space, JD can better control safety protocols for employees and spin up operations faster than rivals once the downturn recedes. Though JD's heavy investments in logistics, employees, warehouses, and technology have come to a steep price in the past, the long-term strategic benefit of these investments is coming to the fore right now. That's why JD appears poised to take more market share in the Chinese e-commerce industry as China comes out of the coronavirus slowdown, and likely for the long term as well. So how big is JD? According to their financial report, in 2020, they have a total net revenue of 745 billion RMB. That's approximately 114 billion US dollars, and that's up from 574 billion in 2019. Compared with Alibaba, commonly considered as China's largest e commerce company, because the business models are different, JD is a retailer, while Alibaba is more like a giant platform. In 2019, the total revenue of JD.com is actually more than Alibaba. However, if you compare the net income of JD.com and Alibaba, Alibaba is almost 10 times as much. The same applies to Alibaba and Amazon. In 2020, if you look at the total revenue of the two companies, Amazon earns more than four times as Alibaba, but they actually have a much closer operating profit. In fact, one of Amazon's strengths is its cloud business. If Alibaba can grow more in that regard, it may have even stronger profitability potential. Here's another angle to compare the e-commerce sales between the top Chinese e-commerce companies. If you compare the sales on Alibaba platform versus JD.com, the former is three times more than JD.com. But after all, JD is a hyper growth play in a sector that's growing rapidly. China's e-commerce market is absolutely massive. With the country accounting for more than half of all global e-commerce sales. In fact, China's e-commerce market is more than three times larger than that of the United States. Given those statistics, perhaps the discussion should be not about who will ultimately win out in the competitive Chinese e-commerce space. After all, these data show that there's tons of room for multiple players in this market. What is the future of JD.com? JD.com has invested in high-tech and AI delivery through drones, autonomous technology, and robots, 
and possesses the largest drone delivery system, infrastructure, and capability in the world. It has recently started testing robotic delivery services and built drone delivery airports, as well as operating driverless delivery by unveiling its first autonomous truck. The goal of JD's drones is for JD.com to open up e-commerce in some of China's most remote areas. Across China, more than 80% of JD's orders are delivered on the day or the day after the order was placed. JD's drones will help extend this fast delivery service into China's most remote rural areas. Here's how it works. JD's local village promoter helps consumers to select the products and make their purchases online. Orders are then proceed and packed as a regional delivery center and loaded onto the drone. The drone system is fully automated. Drone take off independently and follow a fixed route. At the destination, the drone descends automatically to the land site and unloads the delivery. The landing site is owned and managed by JD. The drone then automatically returns to the base along the same fixed route. The village promoter takes delivery of the goods and prepares to dispatch them to the customer. The goal of JD's unmanned vehicle is to solve the last mile delivery problem. JD Logistics has invested heavily in research and development over the years, in which it independently developed a variety of logistics automations, such as shadow system, automated group vehicles, and other autonomous delivery vehicles. Significantly improving the efficiency in warehousing and transportation, sorting and distribution, besides with the digitalization in warehouse, transportation, and order management system, JD realizes intelligent decision making in areas such as sales forecasting, commodity distribution planning, and supply chain network optimization through algorithms. JD Health JD Health is positioned to create a technology driven platform that centers on the supply chain of pharmaceutical and healthcare products and is strengthened by healthcare services, encompassing a user's full lifespan for all healthcare needs. In the first half of the year, JD Health has expanded its technological capabilities to support the digital transformation of real economy enterprises in China, in particular SMEs and organizations from grassroots and rural areas. According to JD, they say, we're constantly strengthening our capabilities on retail pharmacy plus healthcare services, and we'll continue to make progress on opening them up to society," said Li Junxing, CEO of JD Health. On the one hand, we aim at supporting the investment on social value creation by providing digital technologies to support health services developed in the grassroots level and rural areas promoting inclusive healthcare services to every user and making them more contributions to the high quality growth of China's real economy. In 2021, China still has sufficient labor in logistic industry. China has over 10 million delivery men working around the country to deliver over 300 million packages every day. The cost and benefit of introducing drones and driverless delivery vehicle is insignificant for now. In a single stay 2021, which is November 11, 2021, JD launched the Smart Last Mile Delivery Campaign and co-constructed a de demonstration zone for autonomous delivery vehicles. During this single stay, JD Logistics applied nearly 400 autonomous delivery vehicles in more than 25 cities in China, delivering 200 percent more orders compared with the same period of time last year. So far, JD's vehicles have been used in scenarios such as residential compounds, commercial centers, business parks, hotels, university campuses, supermarkets, and more. However, drone delivery and unmanned delivery vehicle only take a very small portion of the total package deliveries in China. In 2015, 
And China has an estimated delivery of over 60 million packages per day. In 2018, China has an estimated delivery of over 100 million packages per day. In 2021, China has an estimated delivery of over 300 million packages per day. And two thirds of them are in cities, one third are in rural area of China. JD.com is a solid company with great profitability. JD stock price is now trading at 71.86 per share by February 20th, 2022. JD.com is sitting at a market capital of $114.8 billion and trading at a P ratio of 28.08. Currently, Alibaba has a market capital of $332.27 billion and trading at a P ratio of just 16.7. JD seems to be less vulnerable and have a more stable relationship with Chinese regulators. And JD's retail sale increase is faster than Alibaba Group, but its stock is also at a higher PE ratio. We have seen some profit decline for Alibaba in 2021. We have yet to see if it's the same case for JD.com. Though still in a high growth rate, retail or e-commerce has passed the exponential growth period in China. Considering JD's robotic and business progress, it's hard to say JD stock is a better investment than Alibaba. In the next few years, JD Health has the potential to make JD.com stock outperform Alibaba. Otherwise, I think JD.com would have a very similar performance as Alibaba in the next few years.